Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing y'all my NBA Jam session on Sunday, March 19th, 2023, man. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do, man. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets can be found over at PickDogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. It takes you right to my handicapper page. That's where you can find my long-term packages, three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, and seasonal. You can find all my bets for today's action, college hoops. Still got a lot of March Madness, CBI, NIT, a lot of college hoops action today. NBA for sure, man. We're not going to forget about our baby, the NBA. And we got uh, some hockey. I probably won't be active there, man. But you can scoop all my bets up over in that link in the description, including that $15 NBA Jam session play. We did drop it yesterday with the Golden State Warriors. They did not get it done on the road. Thought yesterday was a great spot for them, working with a little extra motivation against their nemesis. They were still without their best player in John Morant. Thought they might have woke up yesterday. Ah, didn't happen, man. Back to fading them on the road. But, you know, we'll bounce back on that play today. I love today's $15 play, so you can scoop it up over at Pick Dogs Premium, 15 bucks. Also, follow me on Twitter, at ParlayGuyJ, and check out my live show as I am live every day right here on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, as I run through the card one more time. Usually bring on a guest on this show as well, and, uh, you know, we just run through the card. We drop a parlay at the end as well, so check out that live show, man. You can come in, ask questions, all that great stuff, 3 p.m. Central. 4 p.m. Eastern. Also, follow me on Twitter, Parlay Guy J, man. Both of those avenues is where I update y'all on late injury news and information coming out of the association, man. We got a nice size card on a Sunday. Y'all know we're going to try to smash it per usual. So, without further ado, man, let's make some money tonight and let's hop right into today's NBA action. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Denver Nuggets out on the road facing the Brooklyn Nets. Denver Road favorites, lane two, total 228. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm tired of messing with Denver. Denver is for sure the better team in this basketball game, and they need a bounce-back game as they've now lost five of their last six. But they're on a back-to-back, a road back-to-back at that, and this is going to be their fifth road game in their last six games. Is Do they wake up today? I thought yesterday they might have woke up against the Knicks. It didn't happen. They lost that one 116-110. Uh, you know, they're in Brooklyn. Brooklyn hasn't been playing their best basketball right now either as they've only won two of their last five. Uh, they dropped their last two at home to Sacramento, 101-96, and got hammered out on the road by the Thunder Buddies, man, 121-107. I will say this, man. They did win the uh, only meeting between these two teams, the Brooklyn Nets did, not that long ago. It was actually really recent, on the 12th of March, uh, last week, um, exactly a week ago. They won 122-120 uh, in Denver. Denver hasn't really lost a lot in uh Denver this season, but the Brooklyn Nets did go in there and beat them. That's what I'm going to do, man. I know the Nuggets have been playing so terrible, and I know it's hard to look in their direction right now, but I do think they're still the better team, and they need a bounce-back game, man. Also, working with revenge as the Nets did beat them uh, just last week, man. I'm taking the Nuggets. I'll lay the two. They got to wake up as sooner or later, man. They do. I think today is a good spot for them to do that. I don't think the Nets have anybody to guard Nikola Jokic, quite honestly. Nick Claxton, he can try. But um, I'm going to lean on the Nuggets, man. I know they're, they're struggling right now, but good teams bounce back. They do. This is still the number one team in the Western Conference, the Denver Nuggets, man. After losing five of their last six, I know there's terrible basketball, but good teams bounce back. I could see today being a bounce back spot. For the best team in the Western Conference. I'm going to lean on them here today. They let us down yesterday. It's a road back-to-back, man. And it's their fifth game, fifth road game in their last six games. Terrible spot. But I think they wake up today. I'll lean their direction. I'll lay the two. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Phoenix Suns out on the road facing our favorite money-making team, man. The Thunder Buddies. The Cover Buddies, man. The best ATS team in the entire league, man. They're laying one on the Phoenix Suns at home, total 233 and a half. Can we just take a moment to recognize how far our Thunder Buddies have came? Like, they're laying one on the Phoenix Suns, man. A Suns team that was the number one seed last year. A Suns team that just went to the finals two years ago. A really good Suns team. The Thunder are laying one. That just shows you how far they've came. Oof, we've been betting the Thunder all year, man. And we're going to bet them again today as they do beat. This Suns team on their home floor. And I promise you a lot of people are just going to blindly look at this game and be like, no way in hell should the Thunder be laying one on the Suns. And yes, in hell, yes, they should. If you've been paying attention to this Thunder Buddies team. 
The Suns are only four games better than this Thunder team. Let that sink in as well. Only four games better than this Thunder team this season, man. A lot of people are not key to our Thunder buddies, man. I got to let y'all know that because y'all watch me every day and we yell about the Thunder buddies. There's a whole crowd of people that are not betting the Thunder every day, don't want to bet the Thunder, and think they're still one of those bottom feeder teams. And I'm here to tell y'all, they are not. They have a top five scorer in the NBA in Shagulius Alexander. I'm going to go on the cliff and say, as of right now, today, March 19th, 2023, the Thunder are playing the better basketball than the Phoenix Suns. They deserve to be laying a point here in this basketball game. I've loved what I've seen from the Thunder coming out of the All-Star break. They're going to make the playoffs, a.k.a. the play-in. I don't know if they make the top eight, but they make that top ten. And we're going to see our Thunder buddies, our cover buddies, in the play-in tournament. Book it right now. And I'm taking them today. I'm going to lay that one. They're working with double revenge as the Suns did win both meetings this season, 124-115 on the 24th of February in Phoenix and 132-101 on the 8th of March in Phoenix as well. That last one, Shaggy Elias Alexander did not play. And the Thunder were really in that mode before it was a bad spot for them. They sat because it was a road back-to-back, so they kind of just took that game off. So don't put too much into that one. Tonight, the Thunder win this game at home. I'm pretty confident in it. Love the way the Thunder have been playing. They absolutely deserve to be laying one. I heard somebody say, why is the Thunder favored in this game? If you don't know why the Thunder are favored and you haven't been paying attention to NBA basketball this season, no DeAndre Aiden either for the uh, Suns. So that eliminates the big factor down low for the uh, for the Suns. As we know, this Thunder team is not the biggest team in the league, man. But they can score with some of the best of them, man. And I think today, I don't think the Suns have enough defense to slow these guys down in Oklahoma City. I think the Thunder repay that favor that the Suns just gave to them not that long ago. Take the Thunder. Lay the one here in this matchup tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Atlanta Hawks out on the road facing the San Antonio Spurs. Man, we got Atlanta laying 8.5, total 243. It's a tougher game for me, man, because the San Antonio Spurs are a hard team to figure out. They can be really scrappy cover spreads, but they're also the worst team in the NBA, and they can get blown out any game. So the hard part is figuring out which San Antonio Spurs team is going to show up today. Recently, we've seen the scrappy Spurs, man, as they did compete with Memphis covered. They probably should have won that last game against the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. They had a huge lead in that one, let the Grizzlies come back and beat them in overtime. They did cover 126-120. They've covered in all four meetings versus the Grizzlies this season. San Antonio Spurs, that's what I'm saying. They could be scrappy at points. They were winning the entire game before that, too, against my Dallas Mavericks, man. Mavs came back, pushed on overtime in that one as well, and then covered in overtime, winning the game by 9, 137-128. But then the game before that, they beat up on the Orlando Magic, 132-114. They also got a win in here at home against the Denver Nuggets, 128-120. San Antonio is a hard team to figure out right now. They can keep this game super competitive with the Hawks. But in that same breath, they could get blown out by the Hawks like the Hawks did the first time they seen this team. They've only played each other once this season. It was in Atlanta with the Hawks winning that one, 125-106 on the 11th of February. The Hawks definitely have much more to play for. They're now back to 535-35. I do think they go to 36-35. and 35. I for sure think they win this game today. Do they do it by double digits? I think so, man. I do. The one concern I have right now is I do see Trey Young on this injury report as questionable, but I do think he plays, and this is probably a spot where the Spurs are not scrappy and probably get hammered. Um, I think that's what's in order here in this one. The Spurs have been a scrappy group, and the uh, we have seen the Hawks kind of mess around in a few of their games, you know, Got blown out by Minnesota and lost at home to Boston. But we've also seen the Hawks look really good, especially on the road. Uh, beat Washington in in a back-to-back spot. They beat them 122-120 and 114-107. Uh, just beat up on that, the Golden State Warriors at home, 127-119. Spurs can be scrappy, man, but I think today is a day that they uh, probably get beat pretty handedly. Hawks with more to play for. I want to see if Trey Young plays, but if he plays, I'll probably lay this eight and a half as I do think they win this game really comfortably. Double digit win for the Atlanta Hawks here in this. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Miami Heat out on the road facing the Detroit Pistons. Miami length seven and a half, total two seventeen and a half, and I don't care, man. Uh I'm fading the heat, man. I'm tired of this damn team, bro. I took them yesterday on the road, and they did not even show up, bro. How do you get beat like that by the Chicago Bulls? Like, I am not going to bet this Miami Heat team another time this season. We did win 
on them at home. And I got a little greedy. I thought, well, maybe it is time for the Heat to wake up. And then they go get beat like that by the Chicago Bulls. No, sir. They're on a back-to-back, a row back-to-back at that. They should not be laying seven and a half. This is still the worst cover team in the entire NBA. I think the Pistons have a real shot of winning this game outright. I know that sounds crazy, but and it might be a little crazy. It might just be a little hate you know, a little animosity for this Miami Heat team. I'm going to call a spade a spade. But in that same breath, I firmly do believe the Pistons can cover this game, man. The, the Heat, they just don't cover spreads, bro. They rarely win games either. Like, yesterday should have been a must win for that Heat team against the Chicago Bulls team. That is really inconsistent. And they got hammered. Not only did they get beat, they got hammered 113 to 99. They kind of made it look even better than it was at the end. Um, but the Bulls beat them wire to wire in that game. Today, the Pistons, man, they can be scrappy at times, but they can also get blown out. With the rest advantage today, I do think they can keep this one competitive, man. Um, you know, they did get hammered in back-to-back games by Denver, 119-100. I will say, that game was super competitive. Denver kind of pulled off on them late. Denver absolutely needed that win, or they would have lost 6-6. Six of six. So that was a must win for the Nuggets in that spot. Washington, they needed a must win game too to keep a pace in the Eastern Conference, 117.97. They beat up on Indiana the game before that, 117.97. We did see the Pistons win the only meeting between these two teams this season on the 6th of December in Miami, 116 to 96. They not only beat them, but they hammered them. I think they can keep this one competitive today, man. I probably will not bet Miami for the remainder of the season. I for sure know at home I'm fading them damn near every chance we get. We've done it all season. Uh, We're going to continue that. On the road, they haven't been as terrible as they are at home, but they're still not good ATS on the road, man. They're still pretty bad out there ATS on the road. I definitely think the Pistons have a shot to win this game outright. I know that sounds crazy, but I think the Pistons have a chance to win this game outright, and I definitely think they can cover this line at 7.5 against, again, the worst cover team in the entire NBA in the Miami Heat. 25, 44, and 3 have only covered in 36.2% of their games. Pistons, let's get this one done today at home, man. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing the Houston Rockets. Pelicans laying 5, total 227 and a half. Short, sweet, and simple, man. We're grabbing the points with the Rockets. We're done with the Pelicans. The Pelicans, their season is over. I'm not betting this team anymore this season. There's a lot of animosity for me today. I know. I got to get some of it off my chest, guys. I'm sorry. But this Pelicans team, they really, really, really pissed me off the last time we seen them. They should have won and covered against the same Houston Rockets team just two nights ago. And in typical Pelicans fashion, they just can't do it. Uh, and I, I now say their season is over. The moment they lost that game, they had to win that game to keep pace in the West, and they did not do it. So it's over with, man. I wouldn't be surprised if the Rockets beat them again. The Rockets have now won three straight basketball games. The Rockets can't even – bad organizations can't even do the good stuff right. You're supposed to be losing every damn game to try to solidify that you get Victor Wimbignana. Now you're not even the worst team in the NBA no more. For majority of the season, y'all had the worst record. Now the Pistons have the worst record. And y'all are probably going to win this game and go to the third worst team with the San Antonio Spurs having more losses than you guys, man. That Rockets can't even lose, right, man? They're playing Kevin Porter Jr. heavy minutes like they got something to play for. They've won three straight. Look like they're trying to keep it rolling, man. They beat Boston at home, the Lakers at home, and the Pelicans. They trying to win games, man. I ain't mad at them. I ain't mad at them, man. That is their job to win games. I lean them plus the five. We're done with this Pelicans team, man. They're done for the season. Even if they win this game, bro, I'm not betting them no more. I don't even think they win the game. I think the Rockets mess around and money line them again. Pelicans team, they're capriccio, man. It's kind of crazy to think. At, earlier in the season, at one point in time, this Pelicans team was number one in the West. Zion went down, and they've been terrible. Brandon Ingram can't carry a team. C.J. McCollum, he's been banged up hurt, but this is another team where you've been the number two, man, on the team, and you couldn't be a number two that could elevate your team. Your team still wasn't the best, you know. We seen that in uh, Portland. Lillard really needed a sidekick. C.J. was supposed to be that guy. Couldn't get him over the hump. Him and Brandon Ingram can't even get this team into play in. It's kind of sad. You can't even beat the Houston Rockets out on the road with your season on the line. It's kind of sad done with this Pelicans team, man. I think the Rockets mess around and beat them again, and uh, I'll just grab the five points in my back pocket. 
In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Toronto Raptors out on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks at home, laying nine, total 234 and a half. Um, the Toronto Raptors, man, they've won three straight, uh, all three at home. They look good. They beat up on the Nuggets, 125-110, beat up on the Thunder Buddies, 128-111, and beat up on Minnesota, 122-107. All three were at home. Uh, you know, they returned home there off the bad road trip they were on in all three must-win games for a team that's now only one game under 500. They needed all three, and they got all three. But now today they're on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks, man. A Bucks team off a loss as well, man. They just got hammered in their last one by Indiana, 139-123. That was a real head scratcher. I had Indiana plus the points. No way did I think they were going to do that to the Bucks in that spot. We, I thought that could have been a flat spot for the Milwaukee Bucks. I said that. As, um, you know, we kind of seeing it with the Nuggets. We're kind of seeing it with the Celtics. We're kind of seeing it with this Bucks team. Those three teams, they're pretty much locked in to where they're going to be uh, come playoff time. So what's the extra motivational factor right now to want to blow out teams like uh, Toronto on a Sunday? You know what I mean? And for that reason, I do lean to Toronto. Does Milwaukee win the game? Probably, yeah. I could definitely see Milwaukee winning the game and winning this game really comfortably. I could see that. But what's the motivation to do that? Coming off of the, the loss, the loss is the motivation to do that. Uh, I, I love the way the Raptors have been playing recently, man. I'm somebody who doesn't really bet the Raptors, and especially not on the road. But I think today's a good spot to uh, get in with them, man. They just won three straight basketball games. Granted, they were at home, but they won three of those by combined 15 points. I do think they can come in here with Milwaukee and keep this one within nine. Um like I said, we just saw Indiana go into Milwaukee and hammer them, 139-123. The Bucks did win both meetings between these two teams this season, 104-101 on the 4th of January in Toronto, and then 130-122 on the 17th of January in Milwaukee. These two teams will face off two more times this season. Uh, what was the line in that second one? It was Milwaukee laying one and a half, and so they did cover winning it by eight in that last one. I'm going to lean on Toronto on the road. I usually don't do it, man, but I don't think Milwaukee just has any extra reason to want to come here and blow this team out. I do think they win the game. I can see them winning it by like four or five, though, and I definitely take the points in my back pocket with the Raptors team who's more desperate, who needs to win every game moving forward, still under 500, still fighting for playoff positioning. They've been playing well in their last three. I think the momentum carries forward. I think they can cover here against this uh, Milwaukee Bucks team here in this one tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Clippers out on the road facing the Portland Trail Blazers. Clippers laying three and a half, total 235 and a half. Clippers are on a back-to-back, -back, man. They got beat yesterday at home by the Magic in a game they had to win. Um, they're now 37 and 34, just three games above 500, right in the mix in that Western Conference where they lose a few games, they could find themselves in a play-in. If they win a few games, they could uh, set themselves up really good with the home playoff series, but... You know, the Clippers are going to rest guys out of nowhere. As Kawhi Leonard did not play yesterday in a must-win game, um, it's hard to look in their direction. They're also coming off of five straight home games. So, you know, that first road game can usually be a flat spot. The Blazers, they've been terrible in their own right, man. They've now lost, what, five straight? Um, they're done. They're eight games under 500. They're not making the play in. Um, I seen an article the other day saying they're about to shut down Lillard as there's really no reason for him to keep playing. He probably plays tonight because there's still an outside chance that they can get in. I'm telling you right now, they don't get in. They damn near got to win every game moving forward, and that's not going to happen. We know. Uh, this is the Blazers. They had a chance uh, before this five-game losing streak when they were really right in the thick of things, and then they couldn't do it, man. So I don't think that they magically just wake up and go on a magical run. But today I do think we could see a last hoorah type effort, and they could mess around cover and win this game at home against a Clippers team that, you know, it's hard to figure out. As of currently right now, I do see Kawhi Leonard on his injury report. I'm not sure if he plays or not. Uh, you know, the, the Clippers are really hush-hush about their uh, injury reports. I don't know why, but I will be live again 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully by that time we'll have a lot more information on this game. This is a late start time. It's 8 o'clock, so I'll be back again 3 Central, 4 Eastern, and we'll talk about it a little more. As of as I'm leaning right now, it is Blazers plus a three and a half, but I don't love it. I'm just be honest. I don't love it. This is a game that could go either way. Clips need it. Blazers need it. Eh, it's bottom of the barrel type game for me, but we'll talk about it again later on today. 
In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the Orlando Magic out on the road facing the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers now laying six and a half, total 230. While this should be a bounce back spot for the Lakers, a team that's struggling now. They've now lost three of their last four and um, two of their last five. The Lakers have, man. They can't afford to go do, through another stretch like this. I mean, they got to click it back in the gear uh, sooner or later. I do think they win this basketball game, but I'm not laying six and a half with them. I'll grab the points with the Magic. I don't like that the Magic are on a back-to-back. -back. They played uh, the Clippers yesterday in L.A., um, so it's not like they traveled or anything. And that game was early in the day, so it's not the end of the world. This game is the last game on the board tonight at 830, so they do get a, some, a substantial amount of rest in between. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I think in this one. These are just the spots where the Magic show up. It's just, quite frankly, they are. Just like how they went to L.A. yesterday and won that game straight up, Magic just like to pop up out of nowhere and cover a game. I think they cover this one as well. I do think the Lakers lock in, win this basketball game, but I think the length for this uh, Orlando Magic team can cause this Lakers team some concern. And um, while the Lakers need this game more, while the Lakers definitely have more to play for, all that said, I think they win the game at home, but I'm not laying six and a half in this one, man. I'm not. They've really been struggling. Lost to my Dallas Mavericks, 11-110, buzzer beater. Lost to the Houston Rockets. Anthony Davis did not play in that one, but that's still a must-win game. Um, and then they lost at home to the New York Knicks. Their wins came on the road against a struggling Pelicans team and at home against the Raptors, who haven't won a road game in I don't know how long. <laughs> The Lakers did hammer this Magic team in the long meeting this season on the 27th of December in Orlando, 129-110. I think the Magic get a little more competitive here in this one than they were in that first one, and I think they can keep this one razor sharp the entire way through. I'm going to grab the points with them. I think the Lakers win the game. I think they end up winning it by like three or four points, and the Magic catch that backdoor cover. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on March 19th. 2023 man thank y'all for watching smash that like button for your god man subscribe if you're new and drop y'all like down in the comments as you know i love going through seeing who y'all like man my best bets can be found over at pick dogs premium just click that link in the description takes you right to my handicapper page that's where you can find my long-term packages three day seven day 30 day monthly yearly and seasonal you can also find all my bets for today's action still got a lot of college troops action today nba for sure Probably no hockey for me today, but a lot of hoops action for me today. You can scoop all that up over at Pick Dogs Premium, including my $15 NBA Jam Session play. We dropped it yesterday. I tried to catch a falling knife with the Golden State Warriors. Thought they had extra motivation and they were going to finally win one on the road against the Grizzlies. Did not happen. We're going to get back to fading them just blindly out there. But we'll bounce back today on the $15 NBA Jam Session play. I love it today, man. You can scoop it up. 15 bucks over at Pick Dogs Premium. Check out my live shows. I am live every day, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, right here on the Pick Dogs YouTube channel. And follow me on Twitter. Uh, both avenues is where I update y'all on late injury news and information coming out of the association, man. So I should have a guest on that live show today as we drop a parlay at the end, man, and run through the card one more time. So join me there. It's a live show. Y'all can ask me questions and stuff in the comments. Nice house card on a Sunday. Y'all know we're going to try to smash it per usual, man. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. Again, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all later on the day. Let's make some money today. And I'll see y'all later. I'm out of here. Peace.